Don't look at my answers. All right. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, your word problem worksheet that you're going to be seeing. Uh, just stick with me. I'll, I'll talk to you. Uh, I want to say something, but I'm, I'm going to hold back. I'm going to hold me back. Hold me back. I'm going to get them. Uh, anyways, we'll get there. Uh, so for this first one, it says the sum of three numbers is 12. So A plus B plus C equals 12. The second number is equal to the sum of the first and third. So the second number b is equal to the sum of the first and the third. Twice the first number exceeds the second number by four. So if I double the first number, that is only four more than the second number. Find the numbers. So right now we have one, two, three variables and one, two, three equations. So with this, we're not really going to solve this. Um, so this solve using any method, I'm not going to worry about this right now. You will want to go back and redo this uh, to make sure you get the right solutions when it's time for the test. Because coming up in the next few days, we're going to be showing you how you can solve systems with three variables and three equations. Uh, so for this worksheet, for your homework, all I'm worried about is if you have three systems and three variables, don't worry about solving it. Uh, and you guys have also here some answers. We don't give you exactly which one goes with which, but like this first one. So we had a plus b plus c is 12. So if we have x plus y plus z is 12, maybe somewhere, maybe somewhere. Yes, my guess is it's going to be going this one, and we can rearrange our variables such that this works and this works as well. Uh, but like I said, if you have three, don't worry about getting the solution. If we have two, you guys should be able to get the solution from algebra two, or sorry, from algebra one, what you learned there, uh, either by elimination, substitution, uh, or graphing, but graphing is kind of difficult with some of these. All right, so I'm just going to keep going. We're going to keep working through. If we can solve them, we will solve them. All right, looking at number four. It says Vincent has 32 coins made up of nickels, dimes, and quarters. So I know that the amount of nickels plus the amount of dimes plus the amount of quarters is equal to 32. The sum of the number of nickels and the number of quarters is three times the number of dimes. So the sum of nickels and quarters, so nickels plus quarters, is three times the number of dimes. So three times the number of dimes. So the sum of nickels and quarters is usually means equals three times the number of dimes. If the total value of the coins is $4.60, how many kind does each he have? Uh, I know, I said the words out of order. So you're going to have to remember the nickel is worth five cents. So five cents times every nickel we have plus 10 cents times every dime we have plus 25 cents times every quarter that we have. This total amount of money is equal to $4.60. So again, we have three equations with three variables each. Don't worry about solving for right now. We'll show you how to do that in just a little bit. Just set these up. Set all of them up best you can. Hockey day. All right, in a triangle whose perimeter is 52, the length of the longest side. So perimeter is 52. So say if we have a triangle, we have A plus B plus C. So A plus B plus c is equal to 52. You can call these x, y, z. I really don't care what you call your variables. Uh, just make sure you're consistent throughout the problem. The difference between the length of the longest and twice the length of the shortest is 3. So the difference between the length of the longest, so let's call our c our longest, and twice the length of the shortest, let's call b our shortest, is 3. So the difference between the length of the longest, so the length of the longest minus twice the length of the, sorry, so that's the c is our longest, and twice the length of our shortest, which is b, so minus 2b, is 3. Oh, and I skipped a sentence, I'm sorry. The length of the longest side is 2 centimeters less than the sum of the lengths of the other two sides. So two centimeters less than the lengths of the other two sides. So B plus A, B plus A, the length of the longest is two centimeters less. Length of the longest is two centimeters less. 
do we need the sum of these two minus two, and that should be the length of the longest. So again, three equations, three variables. I'll teach you how to solve these later. Huck uh, All right, let me find one real quick that has uh, two variables. All right, I'm looking at number 10 here. So it says, you and your sister decide to combine your weekly overtime earnings to buy a birthday gift for your mother. Aw, your overtime rate is $18 an hour, and your sister's is $24 an hour. So let's call this, let's call you X and your sister Y. So we know $18 per hour plus $24 per hour is supposed to be 288. The total amount earned for the gift is 288, so the total you made per each hour that you worked should be $288. If you worked two more hours than your sister, so if you worked the number of hours plus two compared to your sister, how many hours did each of you work? Uh, so here, we have two equations, two variables. You can solve one like this if you have two equations and two variables. Uh, so if we get, uh, well, maybe one of the easiest things to do is just use substitution. Since we already have x by itself, we know x is equal to y plus 2. So if I substitute that into this function, this will be 18 times y plus 2 plus 24y minus 200, or sorry, equals 288. You can distribute the 18, so you have 18y plus 36 plus 24y equals 288. 18 and 24 are like terms. Well, 18y and 24y are like terms. You can subtract 36 to the other side, so that gives us 252. 18 and 24 is 42. Y. Then we need to divide both sides by 42. Shortage. Uh, so what is that? 6. So y equals 6. So if you know y is 6, then going back to this equation, you worked 6 plus 2 hours. So you worked 8 hours. So x would be 8 hours. And your sister worked 6 hours. You can always check that too. You can plug it into this function. So 18 times 8 plus 24 times 6 should be 288, but it is not. What did we do? What did we do? What did we do? 18, 36. No, I think that's right. Hang on. Sorry, psyching myself out. Uh, so yeah, we did it right. If you substitute x and y, we should have 18 times 8 plus 24 times 6. 144 plus 144 is definitely 288. So again, if you guys have two systems or two functions, uh, two equations with two variables, you guys can solve these. If you have one that has more than three variables and three equations, uh, you are not able to solve those yet. We will talk about those soon. So like, like number one, all I want you to do is set them up for now. Don't worry about solving them. I promise, I promise, I promise we will teach you how to do that and you will be a master. Yes, master. All right, I'll see you guys in class. Bye-bye.